top 10 YouTube videos with over 8 billion views. I'm accepting this because um, I mean all the like most popular YouTube videos are music videos so they basically mean music videos, the most popular music videos so let's do that. Uh, Taylor Swift is the thumbnail uh, with the Blank Space video which I think is a great song. Really um, love the 1989 record by her, pretty, pretty much my personal favorite record by her really. It's the most, joy most joyous, uh, you know, fluent piece of pop music, so there you go. Um, you know, it's 80s synth uh, pop music, so, you know, I like it, so there you go. Um, you, you know, that's one of the few songs that I like, which you can consider as shit, but, you know, it's, it's better than the rest on, uh, on here, though, so there you go. Um, there's a number one though, which used to be the mo the biggest music video or the the biggest YouTube video, but it got you know now everything has like a billion views, so it doesn't matter anymore. Uh, so let's watch it. Um, yeah, I I watched this already, but I can't recall anything really. So let's just get on, let's just get it over with. And I'm, I also made the mistake, I, bl I believe I already said this, but uh, you know, I recorded a video twice, you know, it was already up and shit, and I recorded it again because I thought I lost the tape, but I didn't. Fucking dumbass. You used to call me on my cell phone. This has over a billion views, I, I did not know that. And it was two years ago, so, you know. Uh, that just goes to show how much I know, so there you go. I don't watch a lot of music videos, I just like like albums, so there you go. I just listen to albums. Or just regular songs. Uh, Mega Trainers approaches. Bruno's a lot. I do like Bruno. For this list. We're looking at videos that topped view counts while making magic in the process. We're basing our choices on popularity and the overall quality of the video in addition to the views. The quality, but like everything on there is shit, so it doesn't matter, man. What quality is there to be found? It's a good fucking question. Number 10, Chandelier. I'm still not a huge fan of the outer tune. I'm still not a huge fan of CS production. So yeah, you know, I just don't like it that much to be honest. Eh, it's not the worst thing ever, but you know, it's it can be a bit higher up though because everything is going to be fucking terrible in there. But this is tolerable, I guess. I don't like the vocals at all, but you know. Sia, yeah, yeah, exactly. Sia is talented, so I guess put her higher up, but there you go. This video has steadily climbed the view charts to become a modern YouTube classic. Yeah, it's a song though, okay? Can you really call it like a YouTube exclusive? Not really. Oh, for the night. Oh, for the night. I hate that outro. As she dances around an abandoned apartment, holding herself up in door frames. Rolling around on the floor and moving in a deeply expressive manner. Maddie By the way, that's not Sia. Sia is like 40 years old or something. This is like, just like a chick that like auditioned for the role for looking like Sia. So do whatever she will. She's like 10 years old. I think. She has some leg work though. Damn. She can put on some clothes though. I, I wouldn't mind that. Oh, for that. You know, because uh, kids with like beige um, color clothing on, you know, looks pervy, looks, you know, kind of exposing in a way. So I'm not a huge fan of that, especially if it's like an eight year old kid. I don't have to see that shit, shit you know. I, I was like, can I like reference a pedo? But, Never or you know, Chris Hansen is gonna knock on, knock on your fucking door, so watch out. Nine. Recipe for disaster. I mean, the, the title isn't lying though, this, this is a fucking disaster. Most episodes 
Yeah, it's not, it's not necessarily a terrible thing, but it's just such a generic fucking anime that, uh, you know, what is it, a music video? An animated TV series? Like, this is literally the only uh, non related music video. So, there you go. Because I think this is like just an animation instead of like an animated music video. There's music in the background, but you know, it's not a music video. It's just like a shitty fucking animated vid about this like girl in the woods with a bear. And she like fucks up the shit of the bear while the girl, you know, just plays. Which makes zero fucking sense because why is the animal, why does the animal have a house? And why is the girl stupid, you know? Uh, oh, I'll, I want to say some really sexist shit right there, but let's not go there. But not per se the girl, but let's just say why is the human controlled by, um, you know, the fucking animal? It doesn't make zero fucking sense. In the episode, an exasperated bear, tired of being interrupted That's disgusting. Animal, they were playing checkers and he had like one checker in his mouth. That was kind of gross. At least he didn't put it back onto the fucking board though. I would just fucking burn the board then. Things get out of hand. Masha makes porridge or oatmeal that begins to overflow uncontrollably. It's an absurd yet fun and innocent. It's like the pink shit from the Teletubbies. They like rip them off and shit. I hate how generic this is. Like fucking hell man. Of course it has like a billion fucking views because any brainless fucking told like a wash this shit, so there you go. It's clearly resonated not just with Russians, but also with people around the world. As it happens, I hate how the girl looks. She has such like a weird face or something. Like she looks like a kind of an, a grandma in a way, but you know, she is a baby of course, so it doesn't make sense. I do not get this man. Like, what the fuck? I mean they should have a rule of only like including like actual YouTube videos as in like videos that you actually watch instead of music videos which you watch too but you know what I mean you know like actual YouTube videos not music videos they should exclude that or something. They can make two different videos of that. So there you go. I, I'm thinking smart forward mode because they're not doing it. Surely there are like 10, 10 or more videos that you know are not musical related that have over a billion views. It has to be out there. I can't fucking name it, but it, it has to be done. It's probably out there. I mean, major lasers, fucking shit, man. I like that is one of my like most hated uh, pop song cliches or whatever it is. Like the haze in the background, just over and over and over again. Like I fucking hate that. Perfectly, and the blend of eastern dance moves mixed with the musician's own style culminates in a serious hit. I just hate the vocals, Major Lazer just fucking shit, so... Why? I mean, it's not the worst song ever, but still... Fucking hell. Like, not that this is a bad song or anything, but this is like the most empty fucking... Uh, empty shell of a fucking song I've ever heard. You know, ever. You know, even by Katy Perry comparisons, um, you know, she is kind of colorful in a way. I do like some of her songs. I you know, Teenage Dream is a hit. Um, you know, the fucking album. So, you know, Katy Perry does have some very uh, catchy and fun songs to listen to. I can't deny that. But, like, whenever she got to this fucking prism era, it just fucking sounds like she is in prison. And she has like uh, a gun, uh, you know, hold at her. Uh, she has to make a song at fucking gunpoint. So she's like, I'm gonna write the most generic shit ever and I'm gonna put it to tape immediately. Otherwise, I'm gonna get killed. 
And oh no, then you know you won't have Katy Perry music anymore. Oh, oh my god. Um, you know, I'm not trying to be a dick here, but I guess I kind of am. I kind of am. Always in a way. Um, I've got what I want to say, fuck. But what I'm trying to say here is this song is really generic and really empty. It's an Egyptian goddess. Like, go with fucking Dark Horse. Yeah, it's a, it's a generic hip hop kind of song, pop hip hop song. But at least it's a bit more vibrant, it's a bit more diverse. Like, this song is just fucking empty, Perry man. Perry joined the animals for a music video that was hard to forget. Perry goes from Lost Adventurer to Jane of the Jungle. Like, why is that guy so happy, man? And surrounded by wild beasts. While the intentionally low-budget look and song-stopping... I think that guy is, like, the only guy I've ever seen that, like, uh, looked, like, uh through his luggage at like a woman instead of the other way around which is usually the case that's like he's like the only person i've ever seen uh, you know that do oh i'm so bad at fucking speaking he's like the only person that i've ever seen that you know did that so there you go moments would sink most videos a terrible cgi tiger Oh my god, a fake tiger. I'm so scared. I don't mind um, a naked Katy Perry getting showered by an elephant though. It's kind of gross, but you know, I don't mind the visuals. The queen of being generic as shit, but sure. I mean, it's also fucking fake, man. It's a multi-billion fucking pop star just going through this fucking green screen behind her, filming, uh, recording the most generic pop song of her career. So yeah, I'm not engaged at all, really. People, you know, people can defend her, of course. I, you know, I don't hate Katy Perry. I do like some of her songs, but it's just kind of like. Like, she just got so fucking generic the last few years, man. I mean, come on now. And even back in the day, she was like kind of a controversial slut in a way. Not not on the level as, let's say, a Nicki Minaj or a Madonna. But, you know, she was a sex symbol, people say. And I can't see that, but... Like, you know, now you can't do that anymore. Because, oh, the YouTube community guidelines, you know, that, you know, that was a thing back then, then as well. But, you know, wasn't as present. And you can lose your fucking, uh, you know, how's it called? Um, you know, you can get demonetized, so you can lose your monetization. And I mean, if Katy Perry loses her monetization on one of those fucking music videos, that's gonna cost her a lot of money, man. If you know how much views those get, like Jesus Christ, that's a lot of fucking money. Like how how much money is that? Like let's say um, that Katy Perry song has like one and a half billion views. That that's probably what it had, maybe even two billion. Um, yeah, let's just go with two billion. I'm gonna calculate how much money that video made. I'm gonna calculate it because I know that um, a million views on YouTube is like a thousand dollars. So I'm gonna calculate this while playing like some shitty fucking Spanish music. Bad way to score more views, especially when your song is all about dancing. In this hit, Iglesias and company go from singing in a room to dancing in the streets of Santo Domingo as they swing. Oh yeah, yeah. Um, I yeah, I think she made. I roughly translate. I, I roughly calculated it, and I think she made two million dollars of that music video alone. So, God fucking bless Katy Perry with all her money, but Jesus Christ, she's so fucking dumb, man. So dumb and so, um, you know, her music is so generic, so do it out, you I mean, that just kind of says it all, really, that, you know, you have so many artists that are so fucking popular and have so, many, so, so much money, but, you know, they can't make intelligent music because they're not intelligent, so they can't make it, but they have all the tools in the world to make the perfect song, but they, they can't do it because they don't have like a heart behind it or like the mindset into it. So it's kind of sad, really. That's really fucking sad if you think about it. 
like the most powerful people in the world like you know not all of them there are some like you know really great popular artists like the Beatles that you know did it of course and they are fucking rich but you know there's so many shitty pop artists out there they have all the money and all the tools in the world to make the best music ever but they can't do it because they're not creative I'm kind of going on and on, but you know what I mean. Which undoubtedly helped it I have so much money, like but this is such fucking shit, man. As if the Latin vibes weren't strong like they're basically just building their money empire. Oh, you know, what's going to get the most clicks? And they're basically just going to re repeat what worked for them. So they're never going to change their lane. Like, are those footballs fucking CGI? Like, are you so fucking shit you cannot even, f you know, football properly? Like, Jesus Christ, get the fuck out of there. Number five, blank space, Taylor Swift. Yeah. Better. Taylor Swift can shake her way to over a billion views. Terrible song. Well, not, not the worst thing ever, but it's so bad. I do like blank space though. Pretty much. Uh, how's that? Um, Kelly for. There's like this one artist though that has a song called Man Eater. How is she called again? Nelly Furtado? I think that's her name or Kelly Furtado? Nelly or Kelly, I don't know. Well, she's not number one though, so she didn't win. Fucking dipshit. Hello. Oh yeah, this one of course. Number four. Hello, Adele. Um, well, I don't have to hear this song ever again. No, this is a bad song, but whenever this got released, I heard it every fucking day. I'm so fucking burned out. I do like Adele, but like, give me 21, you know. Even 18, I believe. Like, give me those albums or 90. I don't fucking know. Lazy fucking album titles. So many great songs. Someone like you. Uh, fucking Rolling in the Deep, Skyfall. Great soundtrack. Pretty, pretty much my favorite Bond team's song. Because, you know, I don't know a lot of uh, Bond songs. So if I'm wrong there, correct me. But, you know, I do like it. So there you go. Sadness. It sells. In this sepia toned classic, mm -hmm. Adele sings. Happiness, house, uh, happiness sells more though. If sadness would sell, like all my favorite bands would be on there, but they're not. not so yeah, no logic there. Uh, do I? It's kind of a meme though. Yeah, I, I guess I can feel it though. I know what I'm trying to say, but... Great vocal performance by the ever awe-inspiring Adele. This Xavier Dunant directed video clearly resonated with viewers, earning over 1.9... That stare is so, like, them. That was like a five-second death stare right there. Cringy Number shit. Three. See you again. Wiz Khalifa featuring Charlie Puth. Damn, who knew? All the planes we flew, good things... The fucking Paul Walker, man. Like, I do not care for Fast and the Furious at all. I think they're like the most overrated movies ever, so do with it what you will. Like, if you go to fucking YMDB, like, every critic hates every Fast and the Furious movie. And actually, they're getting like more love right now with all the Vin Diesel movies. I'm not sure, but I don't think Vin Diesel was at the start of the franchise. I've, I, you know, I haven't seen everything though, but I don't care for Fast and the Furious at all. The song is fairly simple compared to most modern video hits. Khalifa raps flipside and in dark. Most mo Wait, what the fuck did she say there? For the too soon. Whatever the reason, this. The road of land was something. The shooting for this song is fairly simple compared to most modern video hits. Oh yeah, you're talking about the music video. I was like, wait, this song is more complex than the other, or more simple than than the others nowadays. Like, no, get the fuck out of there. That's bullshit. Is Wiz Khalifa still alive? Like his career is fucking dead, man. 
Uh, fucking nails on the chalkboard, fucking Charlie Puth. Like, I hate this song, don't get me wrong. I hate Charlie Puth's annoying fucking face. He has such a punchable fucking face, man. And the worst thing that he ever did, you know, um, the, the worst thing that he did, that he has done yet, um, is the fucking, the, the Marvin Gaye song. Like, fuck him for that. Fuck Megan Trainer and Charlie Puth. And I believe they made out in the ending. I mean, good, because they're both disgusting pigs, so fuck them both. From the film. They fit each other perfectly, so go fuck somewhere else. I don't have to see that shit. No one has to see that. So touching. It's such a meme, honestly. Like, people cannot even respect Paul Walker. Oh wow, I, I passed at the perfect time at like a tit shot, nice. Number two, of of down. course they zoom in on that, of course. Oh, Mark Ronson it's like watched by everyone, but the tit shot is still in there. Nice Mark Ronson. Of course, it's a Mark Ronson song featuring Bruno Mars. Although Bruno Mars starts on the fucking song and it's pretty much his song, but... Mark Ronson really wants that writing credit, Jesus Christ. Too hot? More like two billion. This throwback to the 80s was definitely in fashion when it took the internet by storm in 2014. I mean, there's nothing new, but I do like that Bruno goes, you know, retro again, again and again and again. And he is basically a fucking retro artist at this point, so I don't mind that actually. Mark Ronson is the only white guy in the area. <laughs> you got all of that. With a seemingly endless repertoire of cool dance moves, Mars brought swag. Oh well, there's a white guy behind the lim the the fucking car. So there you go. Ronson watches over like the master producer he is, trusting Mars and his crew to bring. He is not that good though, but he is a talented guy. I do like him. Or well, like is a strong word. I uh. I've liked what he's done so far, but I haven't really heard from him like at, since this song. So there you go. He does play guitar though. Do respect that. He does actually keep it musically. It does kind of get boring after a while, but it's it's a harmless pop song. I hate this fucking song though. Fuck sake. Well, you heard that. I don't want that. It, uh, I don't want that in my mouth. So there you go. Taking a lot bad Sharon. I do like this song. <laughs> Plus an extra good album. I, you know, the vibe is is very mad for me. And um, number six, I believe that's his new album. Like it's so fucking bad. Like get the fuck out of here. Nice panty shot though. Kind of star of One Republic. I mean, whatever happened to Ed Sheeran, man? I actually really like X. Because he worked with Pharrell Williams and shit. Oh, well, really like, I do, I do like, you know, his first two, but there you go. His heart was on plus. His uh, catchy songwriting methods were on X. His creepy style was on the vibe and this generic you know pop sensibility style was on the new one so there you go Gangnam style. Sigh. i mean you can even debate it with uh with the vibe though but i think that the vibe had his moments you know but the new one is fucking trash i mean come on now. who would have ever thought that south korea would produce the most watched video in the world as it approaches three billion views well, but not like anymore. Hit is still the most watched video on YouTube. Nope. Whether it was the dance craze that inspired. I think it's still like top five or something, but it's not the most popular anymore. And all elevator scenes. Something about this strange video. That was not a thing, but sure. All ages and languages. The video's endless quirks helped it spread as the must-see crazy video of 2012. One of the greatest viral successes in internet history. Uh, ah, it's so terrible. 
of all Check time, out really. Check out these other great clips from Watch Mojo and subscribe for new videos every day. Top 10 reasons why Team Titans goes haters. Hmm, I wonder. <laughs> Maybe because the writing is shit, maybe because uh, the characters are dumbed down for like a brain dead audience. I can go on and on about it, but I mean, it's a shit show. I still I still like Raven, but you know, outside of that, it's fucking shit. Uh, yeah, I already read these comments, so I don't really want to go over it again. Uh, that's the video there. <coughs> fucking on. That's the video, there you go. Hope you've enjoyed it. Let me know what you think about it in the comments down below. Like, comment, subscribe to the channel for free videos like as well. Let me know what you want to see in the upcoming video. And I will see you in the next one. Peace.